It was the 31st of December 2011, the last day of the year. So I was on it when fireworks started on a busy Copenhagen street uh, not far away from my apartment. I fought against the urge to abandon my prayers and meditation and join the funky atmosphere outside. There were dozens of explosions here and there and reminded me of the 2003 invasion of Iraq. But unlike Iraq, Copenhagen was not in a state of war. These peace-loving citizens were simply celebrating the end of an era I watched with growing interest as the fireworks went up into the atmosphere I watched with growing interest as people laughed shouted, embraced each other, opened bottles of champagne. Did I miss it? Maybe, just maybe, but it was my choice to celebrate the end of the year the way I did. Uh, the fact is that 2011 has come and gone. Soon it will become history, a part and parcel of our past. But before we completely embrace 2012, I want us to take a moment to examine and re-examine our lives. Combining the contributions of the past, the ability of the time, and the hopes and plans for the future can result to a gold mine. Uh, did you underachieve or overachieve in 2011? What are your plans and aspirations for the future? Did you make any New Year resolutions? You won't believe that a majority of the people abandon their New Year resolutions uh, even before they start putting them into practice. Did you plan to complete college or start a new degree? Did you plan to come closer to God, to family and to friends? Did you plan to love your neighbor as yourself? Did you plan to rebuild your family? Did you also plan to improve on your finances? Or did you plan to get married? Did you plan to stop smoking? What have you done about these plans? Remember that plans are nothing and planning is everything. So start planning to realize your plans. Don't let anything to stand on your way. Sure enough, you're going to face many negativities and adversities. But believe in the impossible. Remember not to spend so much time brooding over your problems. Rather, concentrate on the solutions. All our mundane difficulties may seem crucial and catastrophic, but also remember that nothing, absolutely nothing, lasts forever. 
I have compiled a short list of the things you might want to do to lighten the year ahead of you.